No one's coming to push you. No one's coming to tell you to turn the TV off. No one's coming to tell you to get out the door and exercise. The bottom line is, no one's coming. No one. You may or may not have seen the TED talk that I gave a few years ago. One of the things that surprised me the most about that talk is that we hear from people around the world that write about one segment in particular. And let me play that segment for you because it sets up the conversation for today. And it's this concept of parenting yourself. When you become 18, nobody tells you that it's now gonna be your job to parent yourself. And by parent yourself, I mean it's your job to make yourself do the crap you don't wanna do so you can be everything that you're supposed to be. And you're so damn busy waiting to feel like it. And you're never going to. My son never feels like getting off his DS. That's my job, get off the damn DS. Kendall, clean up the Barbies. If you're gonna have a nude party in my bathroom, at least clean it up. <laughs> God, chew with your mouth closed. We're not in a barn for crying out loud. All right, dinner's coming, get out of the pantry. As parents, and you were a kid, your parents make you do the things you don't feel like doing, because you won't. Ever. Not now, not then, not ever. And even when you get good at something, you'll figure out something else you don't want to do. And then you'll plateau out and you'll get bored and you're like, I hate this job, this is boring. But will you look for a new one? No, you'll just bitch about that one. It's very, very simple to get what you want, but it's not easy. <laughs> wow. You know, that talk was six years ago. I cannot believe how little my kids were back then. And I also, hate watching it because that was the first time I'd ever given a speech. So my voice is like really screechy and I swear, which I typically don't do on stage ever. So woof. Anyway, this concept of parenting yourself is really, really important for you to wrap your brain around. And let me dig into it just a little bit. I write extensively in part two of the five second rule book about how we make decisions and the fact that we make decisions not based on what we know we need to do, not based on our goals, but based on how we feel right now. It's your feelings that make the decision for you. It's one of the reasons why parents are so important for kids, because if we let it up to kids to do whatever they felt like doing, they'd never go to school, they'd never do their homework, they'd never use their manners, they'd never learn to eat correctly, they'd never do anything. They'd just sit around and watch TV all day. That's the job of a parent. What most of us don't realize though, and this is what I was alluding to in the TED Talk, is that when you become 18, when you move out of the house, when you're an adult, you have to parent yourself. Here's the rub. You're never, ever, ever, ever going to feel like doing the things you need to do in order to have what you want. You're always going to need to push yourself. You're always going to need to parent yourself. So what is the net advice on this? What, what is the bottom line? The bottom line is no one's coming. No one. No one's coming to push you. No one's coming to tell you to turn the TV off. No one's coming to tell you to get out the door and exercise. Nobody's coming to tell you to apply for that job that you've always dreamt about. Nobody's coming to write the business plan for you. It's up to you. And because you're only ever going to do the things that you feel like doing right now or that feel good right now, unless you understand that you've got to parent yourself, you've got to push yourself, you're not going to make your dreams come true. You're just not. We're not wired that way. You weren't born that way. You weren't that way when you were growing up. And you're certainly not that way as an adult. And there's a tremendous amount of liberation that comes when you accept the fact that you're always going to need to give yourself a push.